Welcome to our video about business email compromise, BAC, a tax, a type of cybercrime that has been growing at an alarming rate in recent years. According to the FBI, big attacks have cost businesses more than $26 billion globally since 2016. These attacks are sophisticated and insidious, targeting businesses of all sizes, from small mom and pop shops to large corporations. To set the stage, imagine this scenario, you're an employee in charge of making financial transactions at your company. One day, you receive an email that appears to be from your boss, asking you to urgently transfer a large sum of money to a new vendor. You double-check the email address and everything looks legitimate. You act fast, wiring the money as requested. But it's only later that you realize the email was not from your boss, it was from a hacker who was able to impersonate your boss's email address and steal the money. These kind of attacks are called BIC, or business email compromise. BIC attacks are designed to trick victims into transferring money or sensitive information by disguising themselves as a trustworthy individual or organization. The attackers may use a variety of tactics, such as phishing emails, social engineering, and spear phishing to gain access to sensitive information. They are not only sophisticated but also hard to trace, making them one of the most dangerous types of cybercrime in the world today. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at big attacks, what they are, how they're carried out, and how you can protect yourself and your business. But first, let's get a better sense of just how serious the problem is by taking a look at the latest statistics. We will be discussing more in detail in the next chapter, so stay tuned. In this chapter, we will go into more detail about what exactly a business email compromise, BAC, attack is and how it differs from other types of cyber attacks. A big attack is a type of cybercrime that involves compromising the business email account and using it to trick employees or other individuals into transferring money or sensitive information to the attacker. Big attacks are often carried out by impersonating a trusted person or organization, such as a CEO, a vendor, or a government agency. Big attacks are different from other types of cyber attacks in several ways. First, unlike a typical hacking attack, which is focused on stealing sensitive information, big attacks are focused on tricking the victim into taking a specific action, such as transferring money or providing access to sensitive information. Second, big attacks are typically targeted at businesses rather than individuals. Third, big attacks are often carried out using social engineering and spear phishing tactics rather than traditional hacking techniques. Big attacks can take on several different forms, the most common of which are CEO fraud, where the attacker impersonates a high-level executive and tricks lower-level employees into transferring money or providing sensitive information. Invoice fraud, where the attacker pretends to be a vendor and tricks the victim to paying an invoice to a different bank account. Email account compromise, where the attacker gains access to a victim's email account and uses it to impersonate the victim and trick others into transferring money or providing sensitive information. Data theft, where the attacker tricks the victim into providing access to sensitive information, such as financial data or customer data. It is important to note that these attacks are not only targeted at businesses but also individuals. These attacks can be carried out by a group of individuals or a nation-state APT group. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at some real-world examples of big attacks and the damage they have caused. One of the most high-profile big attacks in recent years was the one that targeted US companies' employee pension funds. In this case, attackers used phishing emails to trick employees into providing login credentials for the company's pension fund portal. Once they had access, the attackers transferred millions of dollars to accounts under their control. Another example of a big attack is the CEO fraud, where the attacker impersonates a high-level executive and tricks low-level employees into transferring money or providing sensitive information. One of the victims was a UK-based construction firm where the attackers managed to trick an employee into transferring a large sum of money to a fake supplier. Another type of big attack is the invoice fraud where the attacker pretends to be a vendor and tricks the victim into paying an invoice to a different bank account. This type of attack was used to steal a large sum of money from an American transportation company by changing the bank account details of a regular vendor. These examples show just how damaging big attacks can be for businesses and individuals. But it's not just the financial loss that can be devastating, the reputational damage and the trust that is broken by these attacks can be hard to recover from. In the next chapter, we'll take a closer look at how big attacks are carried out and the tools and tactics that attackers use. One of the most common tactics used in big attacks is phishing. Attackers will send out phishing emails that appear to be from a trusted source, such as a CEO or a vendor, in order to trick the victim into providing sensitive information or transferring money. These emails often include a sense of urgency or a threat to add pressure to the recipient to act quickly. Another tactic used in big attacks is social engineering. Attackers may impersonate a trusted person or organization and use a variety of methods to gather information about the target, such as researching the company's social media accounts, reading news articles, or even calling the company pretending to be a customer. Spare phishing is also a common technique in big attacks. Spare phishing is a targeted form of phishing where the attacker has specific information about the target, such as their name, position, or personal interests, which makes the attack more convincing. Once the attacker has gathered enough information, they may use it to gain access to the target's email account, often through a technique called credential stuffing. This involves using a list of email addresses and passwords that have been obtained from previous data breaches, trying them on multiple accounts until they find a match, and gain access to the target's email account. 
Once the attacker has access to the target's email account, they can use it to send phishing emails to others in the organization and trick them into transferring money or providing sensitive information. They may also use the access to steal sensitive information that can be used for other attacks or sold on the dark web. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at some practical tips and best practices for preventing Beck attacks. Tracing a Beck attack can be difficult and complex, as attackers often use multiple methods to conceal their identity and location. However, with the help of cybersecurity experts, it is possible to track down the source of the attack. The first step in tracing a Beck attack is to gather as much information as possible about the attack, including the email headers, IP addresses, and other forensic evidence. This information can then be used to trace the origin of the attack, identify the attackers, and determine their location. Tools like email header analysis, open source intelligence, OSINT, and threat intelligence can also help in tracking down the attackers. Once the source of the attack has been identified, law enforcement agencies can be notified and legal action can be taken against the attackers. This can include charges related to wire fraud, identity theft, and computer fraud. In some cases, extradition may also be sought if the attackers are located in another country. It's important to note that while legal actions can be taken to bring the attackers to justice, it doesn't guarantee that the stolen money or data will be recovered. But the process of legal actions can send a clear message that these actions will not be tolerated and the criminals will be held accountable. In the next chapter, we'll summarize the key points from the video and end with a call to action, encouraging viewers to take steps to protect themselves and their businesses from big attacks and direct them to where they can learn more about the topic. We've learned that big attacks are a growing problem that can cause significant financial and reputational damage to businesses and individuals. These attacks are often carried out by impersonating a trusted person or organization, such as a CEO, a vendor, or a government agency, and tricking the victim into transferring money or providing sensitive information. We've also discussed the various forms that these attacks can take, such as CEO fraud, invoice fraud, email account compromise, and data theft. It's important to be aware of these different forms as they can target both businesses and individuals. To protect yourself and your business from big attacks, we've highlighted several best practices such as educating employees about the dangers of phishing and social engineering, securing business email accounts by using strong, unique passwords and enabling two-factor authentication, monitoring for unusual activity on email accounts, verifying the authenticity of requests for money transfers or sensitive information, having an incident response plan in place, staying informed about the latest threats and tactics. It's also important to be aware that even with these measures, it is possible to fall victim to a big attack, so it's important to have a plan in place for incident response and to notify relevant parties such as the law enforcement agencies. In closing, we hope that this video has given you a better understanding of big attacks and the steps you can take to protect yourself and your business. If you want to learn more about this topic, you can visit the website of the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, IC3, and other cybersecurity organizations that provide additional resources and information on big attacks and other cyber threats. Thank you for watching.